Good morning and welcome to another episode of Minerva High School Facebook Live. Today is Monday, October 18th, 2021. If your homeroom teacher did not pass out your school pictures last week, please stop in your homeroom today and get them. This year's semi-formal dance will be Saturday, November 20th in the auditoria from 8 to 11 p.m. The theme this year is Let's Glow Crazy. Tickets will go on sale the week of the dance starting Monday the 15th during their lunch periods. Only drag students can buy them in the morning starting at 7 a.m. in the main office. Tickets are $10 a piece and checks should be made out to the Minerva Choir Pants as this is a fundraiser for them. Guests should Guests can be from other schools or graduates as long as they are under the age of 21. Guest passes are required if they are not a Minerva student or if they are a high school graduate before tickets can be purchased for them. You can get the passes from Mrs. Seacrest in the main office. Do not wait until the day before the dance to get them because several signatures are required and that can take a little while. So, sometimes a day or two, masks will be required. Students, there are four days left until the end of the nine weeks. The last day is October 21st. Athletic eligibility is back in place by the OHSAA. Final forms must be done. Your Google accounts will be disabled by the tech staff at the end of the month if they aren't complete. Any student interested in being a member of the academic challenge team should meet after school in Mrs. Holderbaum's room, 201, on Monday, October 25th. To get information on and the practice schedule, practices and matches will be on Monday beginning in November. Sophomore students interested in taking CCP classes next year, MHS will be offering an opportunity to take the ACT on March 8th. <clears throat> Sign up in the guidance office. Cost, the cost is $41.50 of checks payable to MHS. Deadline is to sign up is Friday, October 29th at 2.15 p.m. Seniors, Herf Jones will be here Thursday, October 21st from 7 to 7.30 a.m. and during homeroom to collect orders and money for cap and gowns. Sophomores, Herf Jones will be here for class ring orders on Thursday, October 21st. You can pick up a packet in the front office or guidance office. All CCP students who are false athletes, you will need to turn in your CCP grades by noon, October 29th. See your e email for instructions. Girls Volleyball won their first round of OHSA tournament game. They would travel to Tri-Valley Wednesday night. The boys soccer team will be hosting a tournament game tonight at 6.30 p.m. and the girls soccer team will travel to East Liverpool tonight at 6.30. Saturday was a big day for cross country. The girls team finished as EVC champions for the fourth straight year. The boys team finished in second place. The following girls won first team honors. Hera Hoffey, Hannah Eisen, Kaylee Christman, and Jenna Cassidy. Annabelle Christman and Tori Dunham received second team honors. Connor Shingleton won first team honors for the boys, and Grayson Redding was second team. Congratulations, they would travel to Cambridge Saturday for the district meet. All tickets for OHSA events must be bought online through their website. This week is the clash of the cans. Not only are we competing against Carrollton to bring the most cans in, we are competing amongst the classes. Please bring in your canned food in the morning or during your lunch period and place it in the appropriate box for your class, located in the auditoria. Each food item has a point value. Make sure you check that out on the posters in the hallway. Stay tuned for daily updates this week. If you borrowed a Chromebook from the library, it must be returned by the end of the day. Students, be where you're supposed to be, do what you're supposed to do, and treat others with kindness and respect. Students, please have your Chromebooks fully charged and keep your mask up properly. Have a great day, Minerva High School, and go Lions!